The latest on the intense search for Flight 370. In its sixth week and entering a new phase, officials fear the batteries in the black boxes are no longer working and are now deploying a high-tech deep sea explorer to search for clues. ABC's David Curley is in Washington with the latest right now. Good morning, David. Morning, Robin. It is time to stop listening and time to start looking, say the searchers. So they have selected a 15 square mile area here in, around these pings to start looking. To give you an idea of how big that is, it's about two thirds the size of Manhattan. And another clue this morning, they have found an oil slick about three miles to the northwest from this area. This morning, crews are pulling this toad pinger locator out of the water. It did hear those four pings, but its job is now done. We haven't had a single detection in six days, so uh, I guess it's time to go underwater. And this is the robot, the Bluefin 21, that will be going underwater in the coming hours. Its job to map the bottom. It sends out sonar signals that return and produce a 3D map. Those four pings from the black boxes and some of those sonar buoys have allowed searchers to make a good guess as to where to look. We've identified some areas that we've prioritized to, to go evaluate with the side scan sonar search. So our mission right now is to go look at the higher priority areas and to see if there's any debris there. Crews did find an oil slick about three miles away. That oil is being tested. But this morning they're concentrating on an area 50 15,000 feet under the water, right on the edge of the Bluefin's capability, a dark and forbidding place. I think this is an area that is new to man. It's not sharply mountainous or anything. It, it's more flat and uh, almost rolling. Mapping this 15 square miles will take days. The Bluefin returns to the surface every 24 hours, and then they actually have to download the data and take a look at it, Robin. All right, because they can't see it from down there, they have to get the data back on board. How about planes? Will they still be searching from the air? Yeah, they're going back up in the air again today, but this is about the end. Uh, the head of the search says maybe another two or three days. They basically searched everything, so it looks like the aerial search will probably come to an end before the week is out, Robin. Okay there, David. Thanks so much.